So what would happen if you lost it all? Well, we need to address that because this is a new concern. Now, I received an email just the other day and I wanna talk about this because it says this, Adam, I lost it all and didn't even see this coming. I know you have talked about this before, but I really thought there was no way it would happen to me. Now, what is this person talking about? Well, this is what I wanna to get to today because this is not the only person that is talking about this particular thing and losing everything. It doesn't matter if you're an individual, doesn't matter if you're a business, doesn't matter if you're rich or you are poor, this will impact every single one of us. Now, here's what is happening. Individuals and businesses all throughout the United States are seeing that their credit lines are getting reduced. Some of which are actually getting their credit lines canceled, which means they have no resource. They have no funding. doesn't matter if they're a business that uses their credit line to grow their business, to keep it funded, to pay employees. It doesn't matter. Or if you're an individual who uses a, a credit card or some type of credit line in order to pay for emergencies, put food on the table, and even to pay for maybe your utilities. This is why this is so deeply concerning because this is happening to everybody right now. Just listen to the rest of this email that I got last week. The person says, I have been a long time member with Bank of America and I've never missed a payment. During the pandemic, I was able to increase my available credit to $65,000 and last week I noticed it dropped to $15,000. I am concerned as I rely on my credit line to run my business. What do I do since I don't have the money required to keep my business going and to pay my employees? Well, this is part of the problem. Right now, we know that banks are in crisis mode. They are trying to uh, just hold on. Some banks are going to collapse. Others are going to flourish and they'll be just fine. Now, honestly, this has been happening for quite a while. It's nothing new. But what is now happening is the banks, these lenders, are now trying to reduce the, reduce the amount of risk that they are taking on. And in order for them to reduce their risk, they have to lower the lines of credit. They have to cancel some, of, especially for people that have missed payments. This is the issue we're facing. And just keep this in mind. Businesses will be unable to keep their businesses going all because their credit lines are either getting reduced or completely canceled. Now, should you be concerned with this? My answer is yes. You should be concerned with what is going on right now because banks are attempting to reduce their risk all over the United States. As they go and do this, as they lower their credit lines, right? this will work you know, for businesses, it works for personal debt, and yes, it is going to impact every single one of us. Think about this for a second. Maybe you work for a, I don't know, a grocery store. So you work for the grocery store. The grocery store gets their products based off of credit. They don't go and pay cash as soon as the products come to their store. No, in most cases they have like 30 to 60 days to pay for the goods. Here's the problem. What if this grocery store isn't a big brand, isn't Safeway or Albertsons or Kroger. It's a smaller grocery store, a little corner shop. Well, guess what? If the vendors don't allow you to keep the same credit line that you had before and they reduce it, guess what? You now have to pick the products that you want. You have to pick the best ones. You have to pick less. Instead of getting 50 of every single item, you maybe only get 20. Well, your shelves could be empty. That is a problem and that's part of the risk. Now, when this happens, when businesses and personal debt is reduced or canceled, guess what? This is gonna prevent people from buying the things that they absolutely need. And this is gonna stop businesses from reinvesting back into themselves. Just listen to this. Here's another email I received. It says, thanks for the warnings and always keeping us informed. I took your advice back in January and stopped putting all my expenses on credit and it worked. I had to save my income for the past, for the last few months and now I'm operating my business on that solely. I used to have a high credit uh, limit card with Citi 
but that went away on March 17th. Again, thanks, you have been a lifesaver. Now, what is this person talking about? Well, here's what I can tell you. When the Silicon Valley Bank collapsed, this caused a lot of lenders to pretty much stop giving people money. Okay, it's not just you go to the bank and they, you know, you ask for a thousand dollars to give you a thousand dollars. Yeah, that happened in most cases. But what happened and what was a huge problem is regarding credit. People and businesses were using credit cards in order to just run, to, to manage. People were putting, you know, food on credit cards. That's how they were purchasing them. Businesses were using credit cards to pay for marketing expenses, to pay for transportation. I remember talking to somebody uh, a few weeks back and they said that they used to have a credit card with their with the company that they worked for, uh, they were a moving company. They used to have a credit card and it never had a limit. They were never told that there was a limit, nothing. But now that same company, that same card that they've used for the last I don't know, eight, 10 years, whatever it was, that same card now has a limit. You can only put $250 on that card. That's it. You know why this is, is pretty important? Because guess what? This transportation company would travel across the United States. Yeah, they travel across the United States. And now this card has a limit of $250. You know how much gas you can put in for $250? Well, for a truck, you may be able to get one or two tanks. That's about it. So a little bit concerning. But again, this is why I bring this up because companies and people are losing it. They're losing everything simply because of this credit crunch. Okay, so yes, you should be concerned. But what can you do about it? Well, the first thing you can do is stop putting all your purchases on credit. That's the first thing. I understand it's going to be very difficult to move away from this, but this is something that you need to do. This is a strategy that you need to implement is to start paying with money that you actually have. Now, I just want to say this because I, I've been called out on this before is, well, do you pay for things with cash or with the debit card? I personally do not. Okay. I like to use credit because I can get air miles. I can get points. I can get cash back. I can get some of the benefits. I also pay off the cards once I use them. Okay. Every single month. Now here's the other thing. I have actually got my credit lines reduced. I have. So don't, don't think it's just happening to big businesses. Don't think it's just happening to the little guys with the $300 to $1,000 credit line. No, it's happening to every single person, every single business. And if it isn't or it hasn't happened to you yet, it possibly will. So just think about that. Don't use a credit card as your emergency fund. Make sure you actually have a, an emergency fund and then on the side to top off that emergency fund, use that credit card as an additional emergency. All right. That is what experts are saying as of right now. But again, as we get more information as to what is going on and how this could potentially impact you and your wallet, I promise I will bring you all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.